Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Sporty 160 EN YouTube channel. Today, I'm your host, Sam Fonseca, and we've got a different type of video today. Not a podcast, nothing like that, not a TikTok, not a YouTube short. Today is a thread that I made on Twitter, which I'm going to convert into a video, and that is how Sebastian Coates went from a Liverpool and Sunderland flop to a sporting legend. Now, if you did enjoy this video, or you think you'll enjoy the topic, Please give a like and subscribe. We are so close to a thousand subscribers and it will mean the world to all of us if we can hit there by the end of the season. So hopefully by May, June, we can get there. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, before we talk about the Liverpool and Sunderland moves, we'll go all the way back to his youth. So he was born in Montevideo in Uruguay, but he joined the team Nacional in Uruguay's top division at age 11. He worked his way up through the youth rankings and appearing at captain at every age level. In 2009, aged 18, he signed his professional contract and made his debut against a team called Bella Vista in the Uruguay's top division. In that game, he was named man of the match and since then started every single game for Nacional that was bar suspension or international duty. His rise attracted the interest of many clubs, including Liverpool. Before moving to Liverpool, however, he made his international debut against Chile in the 2011 Copa America, playing a full 90 minutes of a 1-1 draw. Coates went on to win the award for best young player at the tournament, and his nation ended up winning the competition. While at Nacional in Uruguay, he was a three-time Uruguayan champion, winning it in 2008-2009, 2010-2011, and 2011-2012. On 30th of August 2011, Liverpool announced they had signed Sebastian Coates on a long-term contract for an undisclosed fee. However, the fee was reported to be around £7 million. But life at Merseyside wasn't all great for Coates. In his debut for Liverpool, he replaced the injured Daniel Agger in the 27th minute and they lost 4-0 to Tottenham. However, it wasn't all doom and gloom that season as Coates won his first trophy with Liverpool, winning the League Cup in 2012. His greatest Liverpool moment, arguably, is when he scored his first goal for Liverpool against Queen's Park Rangers with an outrageous scissors kick from the edge of the box. Although a great fantastic goal, Sebastian Coates' Liverpool side lost 3-2. Later on, Coates suffered a cruciate ligament injury, having ruptured his entire cruciate ligament playing for Uruguay. This major injury signalled the beginning of the end for the Uruguayan. The injury sidelined the Uruguayan for most of the 2013-14 season, and the second half of the season, Coates returned to Nacional in Uruguay on loan, trying to secure a place in Uruguay's World Cup squad. However, the World Cup that he did eventually make wasn't a success for Uruguay or Coates. He made one appearance as the side reached the last 16, playing two minutes as a substitute for his Liverpool teammate Luis Suarez in a 2-1 group stage victory over England. In a bid to get his career in England back on track, Sebastian Coates was loaned out to Sunderland on a season-long loan. However, the manager that signed him on loan, Gus Poyet, wasn't very much a fan of Coates and he fell out of favour and failed to make another Premier League star under him. However, when Gus Poyet was sacked and replaced by Dick Advocat, Sebastian Coates played every minute of Sunderland's run that kept them five unbeaten, which kept them up instead of getting relegated from the Premier League that season. Sebastian Coates won over Dick Advocat and in 2015 Sunderland signed him on a permanent four-year deal. The fee was undisclosed at the time but it's said to be in the region of £2 million. However, Dick Advocat was let go by the Sunderland owners due to bad performances and was replaced by Sam Allardyce, who ultimately loaned out Coates to Sporting. Sebastian Coates was signed on loan by Sporting President Bruno de Cavallo to play under George Jesus. He joined in January of 2016 when Sporting were top of the table, but unfortunately Sporting bottled the title that year by two points getting an impressive 86 points, but not impressive enough compared to Benfica's 88. Coates played 13 matches and impressed George Jesus, and his loan was extended for the following season. Coates won over the president and the manager, as well as the fans at the Stadio Jose Alvalade, and ended up signing permanently in February 2017 for €4.7 million. Euros. The next two years, Coates did impress, but Sporting ended up finishing third in two consecutive seasons. In 2018, he had his arguably his best season for Sporting, at that time anyway, pairing with former Champions League winner Jeremy Mathieu. In that same year, Sebastian Coates also played alongside players like Bruno Fernandes, Fabio Quentrao, William Cavallo, Rui Patricio and Rafael Liao. 
Sporting ended up winning the Tassa de Liga in 2017 and 2018, as well as winning the Tassa de Portugal that year as well. However, in 2018, Sporting would spiral on the pitch and off. In arguably the darkest day in sporting history, maybe even Portuguese football history, the 15th of May, after losing to Maritimo on the last day of the season, finishing third outside the Champions League places, 50 hooded men forced their way into Alcachet, which is Sporting's training complex. They managed to gain access to the locker room where they allegedly attacked several players, including Bastos, William Cavallo, Rui Patricio and Daniel Podence. A total of nine players rescinded their contracts after the attack. Rui Patricio, Joseph Martins, Daniel Podence, William Cavallo, Rafael Liao and Ruben Ribeiro. Bruno Fernandes, Bastost and Rodrigo Bataglia also rescinded their contracts but later rejoined after a substantial pay rise. Sebastian Cuarte showed more loyalty than players that had come through the youth academy, such as Rui Patricio and William Cavallo, even though they joined at ages 9 or 10, even possibly younger for some other players like Daniel Podence and Rafael Leal. Sebastian Cuarte has won over the fans by staying sporting without a pay rise or trying to force a move. Sporting rewarded his loyalty by making him vice-captain, but then was promoted to captain after Bruno left to Manchester United in the winter of 2020. Unfortunately, the next few years were tough for Coates, as Sporting finished third and fourth. Apart from some Tassa de Ligas and one Tassa de Portugal, Coates' spell was unremarkable, and there were talks of getting rid of him for 8.5 million euros, as Sporting desperately needed money. His worst moment came in 2019, where he went viral after giving away three penalties in the same game and getting sent off against Rio Ave, ultimately costing Sport in the game, where they lost 3-2. Just as Bastian Coates' time looked to be finished at the Avalade, Sporting struck gold. After awful managing appointments of Jose Passero, Marcel Kaiser and Silas, Ruben Amorim was brought in as a gamble by Federico Verandas, even though Ruben Amrim had only been managing 14 games professionally up to that point. A career-ending injury to Jeremy Mathieu gave Coates the complete control of the defence, with Amrim promoting youngsters Gonzalo Inacio, Eduardo Quaresma, also signing experienced veteran Zulhaya Vidal. However, life under Amrim didn't get off to such a good start for Coates. He got sent off in Sporting's qualifying match to LASK in Austria, and they lost the game 4-1 as they crashed out of Europa League qualifying. But Amarim kept his trust in him, and it paid off. Sporting spent most of the season in first place, only conceding 20 goals all season in the league. The 2021 season is where Sebastian Coates became a legend. Sporting ended a 19-year league title drought and won the double, winning the league and the Tasta de Liga, known as the Allianz Cup, with Sebastian Coates as captain. Quartas was notable for a number of reasons that season, including making 33 appearances, being a rock at the defence, earning the nickname El Patron, and scoring one less goal, five in total, than Darwin Nunes, who had six. That was a notable season for Quartas, who was often deployed as a second striker when Sporting failed to score goals. He truly was the El Patron of that season, and barring an incredible season from Pedro Gonzalez, I would say Sporting had their player of the season in Sebastian Coates. In 304 games for Sporting, as of the 30th of January 2023, Sebastian Coates has 28 goals, 13 assists and over 26,000 minutes played. Four Tassa de Ligas, one Tassa de Portugal, one Super Tassa, one Liga Nos, Liga Nos Player of the Year 2020-2021. He is without a doubt our captain, our hero, a sporting legend, Sebastian Coates. So, that is how Sebastian Coates became a sporting legend. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, share and subscribe. Remember, 1,000 subscribers by the end of the season would be great. I have been Sam Fonseca. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at Sam Fonseca. Make sure you follow the podcast account, sporting160 underscore en. And let us know if you enjoy this type of content and we'll be sure to find more and make more for you. Thanks. Peace.